Well, a Worcester cab driver was just doing his job, picking up a fare. That's when he says he was stabbed in the neck and had to fight for his life. The man who attacked him is now under arrest, and the cabbie is recovering. And WBZ's Katie Bray spoke with him about this frightening attack. This is the cab where the driver fought for his life. You can see the damage to the bumper where the car finally stopped. And the cabbie is telling his story now that his attacker is under arrest. Stab me. He's right here and then uh, arm here. Cab driver Harvinder Dillon showed us his wounds he suffered at the hands of a passenger. Stab wounds to his neck and head. What I do, I... Police say the attacker is this man, Robert Rutledge, who appeared in court on Friday. He's charged with several crimes, including intent to murder and carjacking. The ordeal started mid-afternoon on Monday. Dillon says his fare asked him for change for $100. When he said he didn't have it, the man stabbed him in the neck. After uh, he stabbed me, I don't know, I uh, leave the break, you know, car going down the hill. The cab crashed to a stop. Dylan managed to climb out of the taxi. He wasn't done fighting. Outside, I have a sander, something, and snow. I pick up, a door is open. I throw it a couple times in his face. The taxi driver also hung on to the key for his electric cab. The man, realizing he couldn't drive away, ran down the street. Dylan managed to take a few photos in an attempt to help police catch his attacker. Several witnesses called 911. Everywhere have a blood. As the doctors learned, Dylan had not used up his fighting spirit. Doctors say he's having two and a half inches look like here, and then three inches have a deep, have a knife. You're lucky you survive. I thank God I survive, you know. Rutledge is in jail pending a dangerousness hearing. Dylan tells me he plans to be back behind the wheel on Monday. In Worcester, Katie Brace, WBZ News.